Okay, hello everyone and welcome to MK11. Uh, welcome back, I should say, although it has been absolute ages since I've actually touched MK11, both on the channel and off screen. But we have a new DLC character to cover, which I always do, so that's gonna be no different. Today we are going to be taking a look at the latest DLC character, who is, of course, the Joker. I only thought it's fitting that we beat up the... No, I ah, fuck, Terminator wasn't the previous DLC character. Whatever, we'll beat up the Terminator because I chose to pick him. So yeah, Joker, he's out. Uh, this was really the character that absolutely no one wanted. I remember pretty much everybody was pissed that it was the Joker. Because uh, everybody was like, what? But I think as time went on, people have gotten a little bit more interested in what this character has to offer. Uh, his initial design looked absolutely ass. Uh, his initial design was pretty horrible, but with this redesign, him looking a little bit edgier, uh, I think it's... What the fuck was that? Uh, him looking a little bit edgier helped quite a bit. I mean, yeah, that's just how the Joker is. He is edgy. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at him just as I always do, uh, we're in variation 1, we'll take a look at the strings and all that. Let's see what this character has to offer. He actually has a fair bit of strings, uh, which is good, because a lot of these... Yeah, that's the launcher. A lot of these DLC characters uh, seem to be like lacking strings. Terminator is... <coughs> Damn, I'm like choking here. Uh, Terminator is especially an example. <coughs> Terminator is especially an example. Uh, sorry, I had like a coughing fit there. What the hell? I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so we have 1 to 1, which is a launcher. Minus 2 as well, which is strange. 1 to 2. That's the overhead. Uh, I, assume, I assume this is a mix-up. This and this kind of I mean the overhead does have a wind up to it and we have a mid is this is a special cancelable mid yes but it doesn't combo at least not to this move that's really good that's negative six almost well actually kind of safe so yeah I think out of those strings these are the important ones I also have this okay that ends in a low that's less useful, I would say, negative six. So it's basically a mix-up. We have these two strings. Oh, this is the one. What the hell even is this string? That's kind of awesome. I gotta admit, I kind of like that. Wait, what? He explodes? Yeah, I think I remember. This is the string you can do. So what's the difference? Oh, that's a low, and this one is a mid. And I assume, yeah, this is both are unsafe. Both are unsafe, and this one counts as a projectile, and this one doesn't. Oh, he just... It's pretty good. It's pretty good, just chuck him off screen. You know what? Yeah, this guy, he's designed well. Uh, again, the thing is, this was the least expected DLC character, and... I think they did an okay job. I mean, NRS usually does okay jobs with all of their DLC characters. My basic thought is, and has always been the same, which is that I would always rather have uh, original or legacy characters over guests. But, you know, I understand that guests bring the hype. Triggers if combo attack is a counter or punish. Okay. Uh, I was just about to say that... I was just about to say that this string looks kind of shitty, but it's not shitty because it's meant to be a crushing blow. All right, that's another thing. I was going to say that even though I have not touched this game in ages, I have been planning on picking it back up, at least for an episode. For the following reason, this latest patch that they released actually fixed some of the biggest issues I have with this game at a core gameplay level. All right, thanks Tekken. That's the Leroy nerf patch, which 
didn't do enough to nerf Le Leroy, but whatever. So yeah, this, this latest patch has actually fixed a lot. I think the two most significant changes are you cannot cancel or there's like a delay on uh, pokes being cancelled into special moves. <clears throat> Can you just not do that on block? Oh no, you can. I swear I read something about this in the patch. Maybe it's just delayed. Uh, so they changed the poke system a little bit. Uh, apparently it's less spammy now. They changed the jumping kick mechanic. There's more delay when it is blocked. Which I think really was the biggest issue this game had. The jumping kicks and the throws. Especially crushing blow throws. To make that balanced, NR has actually removed the ability to have to get more than one crushing blow per combo, or I mean per game, which is wait, is it per game or per round? I'll have to check that. I don't remember. Anyways, let's check out these two. Oh, final strings. Okay, that's pretty good. Holy shit! That okay, that actually has a lot of range on it. I thought this was a special move. I did this, and I thought it was a special move. So I think if he has launchers. Uh, this is gonna be the strength. This, this, and probably this. He, interestingly, he doesn't have mid. Uh, but a lot of his stuff is safe. Let's check out any unique normals. Uh, okay, he doesn't have. There's this. That's a string. Okay. Doesn't appear. Okay, that's a nice sweep. That's an okay sweep. Good uh, uppercut as well. Good uppercut. He has the uppercut he had in Injustice 2. So yeah, that's unchanged. Frame data wise, he... He seems kind of okay, but doesn't have any standout pokes. Alright, we have Batsipu. This is universal special move. Okay, projectile and... You can actually hold it. The question is, can you cancel it? I assume yes. First of all, you can. Okay. Hmm. So I assume, yeah, this seems too slow to uh, hit, but it does appear that you can get a combo off of it. There's also like a weird delay on it before you can act. Hmm. I wonder. Ho that that actually has a lot of delay on it. So you can get like an uppercut or something. You probably can get more. I'm just horrible. Okay, you can get that. Okay, so you. I'm guessing you can do something like at a certain distance. You definitely don't have enough time to dash up. Shit, that has a lot of delay on it. It's so, like, weird. Uh, Alright. Bird beat down, this is this. I, actually, it's an overhead. Uh, this looks like a main combo ender after combo. So you can probably do something like... Yeah. Wait. Am I screwing this up? Depending on which controller I'm using. I swear I'm doing it. Wait. You you definitely can cancel it. I'm just being bad. What the hell? I can do... Alright. It seems like... There we go. In the... Couple of... What, has it been months? No, it hasn't been months. But the time I've spent away from the game, I've forgotten how to play it. This is the low projectile. This is now variation specific. And he has the puppet parry. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering what that was. Uh, let's do this. That's pretty cool. Usually these... T okay, and it launches too. Pretty good. I mean... 
Like a lot of the cast has parries like this. Cool. We got that parry. Usually these types of things have no, doesn't have crushing blows on it. Uh, look at his look at his block. Okay, that's a pretty good crouch block. Uh, and we have C C D D E G E C. This is the move that like nobody wants to pronounce. Oh, is that what that is? Is that what? Damn, I was kind of expecting something a little bit more flashy. Uh, you can delay it. Whoa. And then, okay, it's, at least it's a mid. Huh. And it doesn't look like that can combo. That does though, but... This is not actually a launcher, is it? Hmm. So the thing about this, oh, that the cancel is special as well. Okay. So that's because I, I was just about to say, what's the special part of this variation? But it's this. What's his back throw actually? This is, man, you know, after, I've been playing a ton of Street Fighter uh, recently. And after playing that game, you really do notice how distractingly long the throw animations are. I think the longest throw animation in SF5 is Abigail's. And that's annoying on its own right, but so many characters have insanely, uh, insanely long throw animations in this game. It's kind of noticeable. Aaron Black being the prime, uh, prime suspect of doing that. All right. So we have no no new strings, but we have jumping jester. Okay. What? The? Can you aim this? Oh, it doesn't have a hitbox. Okay, I thought it had. You can aim it. But, but wait then. Hmm. Oops. How do you do it? Okay, it's that. Hmm. It still doesn't launch. Interesting. So they all go, it just depends on the angle. Weird. What a strange one. It's negative 21 too. Uh, this is a strange... Okay, we have Jack in the box. Okay. So it's a setup one. Assuming aimable as well. All of these are like mids. Okay, that, that one actually is a proper launcher. There's no way that is. Yeah, there's no way that's a real combo. There's no way you could combo that ever. Hmm. I think the time we are going to spend with this variation is going to be fairly short. Seriously, this is what you get. Wait, does it stay stunned? Oh. Can you actually combo after that? You can. Okay. I shouldn't discount this variation. Wait. The amplified one has a hitbox. Coming down. Oh, that's what it means by stun. I thought it meant stun like it launches stun. Hmm. This is interesting. Which one is his farthest? I gu I'm guessing that's... Keep doing the wrong thing. Hmm. I'm still unsure. I am right now... 
fairly unsure of this variation. See, I was right in that most of these had the same angle, right? Almost. But that's because the way down is the one that matters. Honestly, I think we'll move on. Maybe there is some insane setups that people, people will be able to accomplish with this variation. But I don't know, boys. I don't know. Uh, let's check out this one. What do you get? Kapow. Holy shit. That is some... And it launches. You're getting lit. Whoa! Isn't this his Injustice uh, victory screen? I don't remember if in this game or in Injustice 1 he had that. Where he lights you on fire. I think in 2 he had it. Uh, let's see. I think we have found the day one easiest variation to use. Uh, I think it's... Yup. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one you're gonna use. Day one, I mean. Uh, oh, and it captures too. That's interesting. You see it like almost restands. Yeah, okay. I think maybe I'm naive, but out of the three variations we have looked at, this to me clearly seems like the superior one, right? I mean, I am not alone in thinking that this is the variation, right? Uh, but maybe I am wrong. Uh, maybe I am wrong in the fact that people kind of figured out some of the less obvious variations of Sindel as well. I think people can now consider that one that has the Banshee like charge to be the best one. Sindel wise, I mean. So, maybe the setup variation is an amazing one and we are just in our current state too blind to see it. But, again, I'll be honest with you, Joker is not a character I've been interested in and never have been interested in. I liked him in Injustice, but I feel like he belongs in Injustice. So, it's unlikely I'll go online with him. But if I had to go online with a variation of Joker today, day one, I mean the character has been out for like two hours, two, three hours, I would most definitely pick this one. I am assuming that this move, this move is insanely, insanely unsafe, negative 20. Yeah, damage over time. Triggers if this move hits at maximum range and if this attack is a counter or punish. Okay. I want to check. You might be able to like... Yup. Okay, but it doesn't... Uh, it's not a combo, which is okay. It does okay damage. So can you actually do something like... Shit, I, I keep thinking you need to dash up, but... This recaptures in a way where you don't even have to move, I think. What's the gas? Okay. Oh, okay. And it hits low. So what if you do something like this? And then... I can imagine that characters... Yeah. Characters without projectiles would have a hard time dealing with that. As in... Because, you know, if you think about it, like... 
I do a combo like this. Like if you're the Terminator, I mean Terminator is a bad example because it does have a projectile. Uh, you're pretty much gonna be forced to walk along the flames. I can imagine this being fairly strong. Uh, yeah. I think my opinion is that this character or this variation is the best one uh, are being confirmed pretty hard. And yeah, he can like light up a huge chunk of the arena. This is what fucking uh, Dirtbag Kano wishes he was. I'm only kidding. Dirtbag Kano, I think, is not too bad in its current in its current state. Yeah, yeah. Again, if I had to pick a variation to take online right now, I would hella pick this one. I don't know, man. I don't know. Now that I've tried him, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I am whelmed. And that whelmed is under. Uh, I'm, like, not impressed by the moveset of this character. I th I think both Sindel and the Terminator were interesting. Tier-wise, of course, Terminator is considered to be pretty bad. Sindel is okay. Sindel has been uh, used and she can do okay. This guy... I don't know, this variation looks okay, but damn, I don't want to be negative, but this is, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I so knew it. Wait, that doesn't launch. That doesn't launch. Alright, that's cool. That does not as much damage as a throw. Uh, I don't know what to say. This, <sighs> fuck, I'm going to get dislikes, because people... People always complain, hey, this is my main, what the fuck, you just dissed. Yeah, I'm I'm not impressed with this character. I... He's way better than initially, uh, what people were expecting. I think gameplay-wise, he's more interesting as well, but... Not even, I shouldn't say that, because gameplay-wise, he's exactly not impressive. Uh, I don't know, maybe he'll turn out to be god tier, but... He doesn't look too interesting, especially those other two variations. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I will, I promise, I will make one more online episode of this game with the new patch. Because I want to, I really want to try it out. And we'll go from there with MK. If nothing else, I'll see you guys at uh, Spawn, right? Is Spawn, the, I think Spawn is the next DLC character, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of MK11 with the Joker. I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.